I know one question that has occurred to many of us is, do we have to write down all those digits from the periodic table? Some of those numbers are really long. So here's the rule for it. Let's suppose I've got 320 moles of vanadium. And I want to switch that to grams of vanadium. When I look at the periodic table, I see uh, vanadium is 50.942 on there. Do I have to write down all those digits? Could I just write down 51? Well, the rule is I need to look at my problem and see how many sig figs I've got in the beginning number. I have two sig figs there. So the number that I write down from the periodic table should not make my precision go down. I want to maintain two sig figs. So the number I write down from the periodic table has to have two sig figs or more. If you don't want to think about it, you can always just write down all the digits. But I don't want to write down all the digits. I look over there and go, okay, I only need two sig figs. I can just round this 51. So that's 51 grams of vanadium for one mole of vanadium. These are going to cancel. And I'm left with my answer, 51 times 320 equals, and I'm going to round that to two sig figs, which will be 16,000. The other thing I'd like to point out right now is this, M-O-L. M-O-L is the abbreviation for mole. You can't just call it M because then it's a meter. And MO, eh, is that month or mole? That's it. All you get to do is drop the E. Sorry about that. Well, see you tomorrow.